Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, we are talking about Miss Teresa Graves, and it is said that she could have possibly have been Whitney Houston's biological mother, okay? Biological mother, yes. Now, we know Sissy Houston raised and, and trained Whitney Houston, but they are saying that this lady could have been her mother. All right, but before we get into it, guys, you know what to do. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you have not already. Leave us a comment and cut your notifications on to be notified when we drop a video. So, yes, Miss Teresa Graves is a singer, an actress, and a dancer. Okay? And she was born in 1948, January 10th. And she passed away in 2002. Okay? She was an American actress and a singer. But known for her... Best known for her starring role of undercover police detective Christy Love. Isn't there an actress called Christy Love? Mm. Okay? She was the first African American woman to star in her own... So I come, I come home every night and wash my face and get all scrubbed up and put on my jeans and run over to Robbins. And we'd sit up all night long and he'd sit up, everybody would be going to bed and we'd be in the aid book. And I wanted to know everything, everything, everything. And we'd dig and dig and dig sometimes till 2 o'clock in the morning. Did y'all just hear her say her and Robin? <laughs> Go figure. Didn't Whitney Houston have a friend named Robin? Look at this face right here. Got attitude and everything just like Whitney Houston. Can't tell me anything, but y'all let me know what y'all think. She was also in a movie called Blackula, y'all. Never seen it. I've seen clips of it, but I think she was like a vampire or whatever. Okay? Now, let's talk about her career, all right? Grace was born. Of course, she was in 40, uh, born in Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah, she's also... Oh, no. What when you when you was from Jersey? I happen to be hmm. a Leah fan. That's I love her voice, and I think Whitney I Houston. thought the songs she was singing were just perfect. I thought they were just great for the new breed of music that that came in and took over. You know, and I thought Missy's bad, and she is. She's so bad. Okay, so y'all y'all heard those two clips. They sound exactly alike. Hey, this could just be a rumor. You guys let me know, okay? But yeah, she's a Houston, Texas girl, all right? And look at those moves. Shaped just like Whitney Houston. Wigs just like her. Whole face. Yes, okay? Now, Grace was baptized a Jehovah's Witness in 74 and almost immediately began using her celebrity to bring international awareness to the persecution of witness in Malawi, okay? Now, let's just keep this real, y'all. Sissy Houston was married to John Houston, which is Whitney Houston's father, and rumor has it that John Houston had an affair with Miss Teresa Grace. Now, Teresa Grace was a little young. We don't know how young. Y'all can let me know. <laughs> but she was a little young. And she had given up a baby, you know, to adoption, you know. In fact, they're saying that it used to be in her Wikipedia, y'all. But they kind of scrubbed that. Don't know why. I don't know. But anyway, Sissy Houston supposedly found out that her husband had an affair and had a baby. And she agreed to adopt Whitney Houston. Okay, and the rest is kind of history. You know, some people say, oh, she doesn't look like she would do that. Honey, we don't know none of these people. We don't know none. We don't know. We don't know anything. All I know is everybody says they have a twin, but facial structure, sound, whole demeanor, no. I mean, obviously, there is something there. They're even saying that back in 2002, when uh, Miss Teresa Graves did pass away, that Whitney Houston had fallen into a huge, deep, deep, deep depression during that time. That's when her uh, codependency on substances grew um, during that time and everything. And, uh, you know, that could have been because she found out that, you know, Miss Teresa Graves 
passed away. So just to let you guys know, more than likely she knew. You know, when Whitney Houston came on the scene in the 80s, that's when Miss Teresa Gray's kind of faded out. You know, maybe a little bit before then, because Whitney Houston was also, you know, she would sing in, in, in choirs and in churches. She was out there uh, much before the regular public learned about her. But yeah, that's the time in which Miss Teresa Grace kind of had to take a back seat, obviously, because it would have been too, uh, you know, obvious that they are uh, related or something because the resemblance is uncanny. I mean, really, the hairstyles, you know, the, the like, the, what is this, like, a, what is it called, this shape, babe, what's the call, what is it called, honey, that's my husband, he gonna help me. What is it? Pyramid? What? Asymmetrical. A- asymmetrical. I thought it was a triangle. Triangle. Okay. Yeah, triangle. Yes. Now look at that. Same mouth. Same nose. Eyebrows. Same hairstyle. You can't deny this, guys. You know, a lot of people are just in awe and shocked because, oh my goodness, this can't be true. It's Sissy Houston. Yes, yeah, she she does look like Sissy Houston, but let's let's think that maybe... They could be cousins, just like she and Dionne Warwick were cousins. They could just be all cousins. Maybe John Houston was a little bit living foul, y'all. You know, so now I understand why Sissy Houston, they say, had an affair. You know, because, you know, her siblings, Whitney Houston siblings, they're half siblings. I don't know if her brothers had other dads. I, I really, because none of them really look alike. I mean, if you really look at them, y'all got got to go and look it up for yourself. But they really don't look alike. If you put Sissy Houston by uh, Whitney, and then if you put Miss Teresa Graves by Whitney, a photo, obviously Teresa Graves and Whitney Houston, they kind of look much more alike, you know. So, yeah, we'll see. You know, actually we won't because this is just rumors and, hey, uh, Miss Whitney Houston and Miss Teresa Graves, they're, you know, they gone on now. And so, you know, some people may say, why well, bring this up now? Well, why not? You know, I hate to think about all the other things, the secrets that, you know, are going around like uh, with Aretha Franklin. You know, let's just bring that up, you know. Aretha Franklin and had a baby at 12 and she never discussed who the dad was. And I'm sure y'all know the rumors. Of who she, who the dad could have been. I mean, if y'all don't know, I ain't saying it because this is a family friendly show. Y'all can look that up. If y'all saw the movie and all that kind of, you know, yeah. It just happens. You know, this stuff been happening since biblical times. Don't act brand new. Hollywood. You know, it's a whole bunch of crazy stuff in Hollywood. And they know how to hush stuff up. You know, it was a rumor back in the day about Janet Jackson having a baby by, by I think, James the Barge. You know, and they covered that up, saying that the daughter was raised by her older sister, Rebe. You know, look it up, y'all. It's just, it is what it is. They're human. You know, they are human. They just basically, their job is to entertain, and we know them, and we feel like, oh, we've known them all these years. We don't know them. We just hear their music, see their movies, see them dance see them entertain we don't know these people personally you know i'm sure it's people in your family you don't even know you know how many people found out in their own family they thought that there was their mama at the funeral when it was their sister or their aunt and it was really their mama how many daddies pass away and all the children from another woman come to the funeral it happens all of the time. I remember I had a, mem- a family member pass away. And it was this random lady looked just like my uncle. And I was like, wow. And we all looking around like, who is this woman crying and crying? And it was like, oh, that's his daughter. What? We all found out he had a love child at the funeral. Honey, it is what it is. Stuff happens. But anyway... What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I kind of just freestyled this, y'all, because it's not a lot of information out there. But at least I planted the seed for you guys to go and look up this tea yourself. Thanks for watching, and you guys take care, and I'll see you next time.